Hi, I'm Mark, and this is a short video about getting started with the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat. If you've just got one of these, and you're at the stage of wondering, what does this thing do? Well, this is for you. Let's get stuck in. So when you unpack your Sense Hat, you'll have to attach it. All you need to do is connect it to the Raspberry Pi using the GPIO pins. You can secure it to the Raspberry Pi with screws and little spacers, as you can see here and then you're ready to plug it in. Now we're going to use the Python language to control the Sense Hat. But first we need to install the library, which will give us a bunch of commands that are easy to use. So make sure that your Pi is connected to the internet, and open up a terminal window and type sudo apt-get update. Then sudo apt-get install Sense Hat. Then sudo reboot. That's our library set up. Now we're ready to open Python. The Sense Hat has several sensors on it. So to get us going, we're going to write a little program that reads the values of some of those sensors and then use the LED display to show some of those values. Right, first, let's write a program to read one of the sensors. Let's find out what the temperature is. So first we import our library, then we're going to use the time module too. We create a sense hat object so that we can talk to the hardware. Then we make a little loop where we read the temperature from the sensor and then print the result to the shell. We use the sleep command to pause the program for 10 seconds in between loops. So let's run that and see what we get. There we go. Now press Ctrl C to stop the program. Now we know we can read from the sensors. Let's write the full program to display the information on the LED panel. As with the last program, we import our library modules and create our sense hat object. Then in our loop, we can read several sensors. Here I'm reading the temperature, pressure and humidity. We might want to output the values to the shell to start off with to get an idea of the range of numbers we're dealing with. Because there are only eight pixels in each column of the LED matrix, I'm going to do a bit of maths here to make sure the values are in the range of 0 to 7. Then we can easily set each pixel of the matrix from 0 up to the value which we get from our sums. So let's run the program and see what happens. OK, there we go. I've set the temperature column to red, the pressure column to green, and the humidity to blue. The program will keep running and update the LED matrix every 10 seconds. <laughs> 